like you have to obey the law, but we can kill people and sacrifice people and never have to be accountable. So they're holding themselves up a standard of the law of, of God. And it's interesting because, you know, they think they can never be caught. How many people are running? They're still running like, like I, don't, I don't understand. I asked uh, the most high lot when are you going to bring these wicked, wicked people down from their high places, man? They've set themselves up amongst the stars. You know what I mean? Like I said, it's a Deuteronomy. What about this one? There you go. What about this one? I always find this one interesting. First Timothy 1 and 20. This is what Paul said. Of whom is Hymenius and Alexander, whom I have whom I have delivered unto Satan, that they may learn not to blaspheme. Wow. Paul said, Paul said he delivered him to Satan. Yo! Remember when Enoch had walked, had uh, went into the first heavens and saw the ones crying for him? They were crying for him in 2nd uh, in Ezra uh, chapter 4. They were like, please help us, please. He was like, I'm looking at, unto them in a great, that's great stature. I can't do anything for them. I'm just a mortal man. He saw, man, he saw these, these like titans, man, like being held and they couldn't do anything about it. What crunched. scripture is that? 2nd, 2nd Ezra chapter 4. Yeah, Enoch yeah, I think you're talking about Enoch. Enoch. I think you're talking about Remember Enoch. Remember when Uriel, it talks about Uriel uh, encountering Enoch? Yeah, oh no. I think he was talking to Ezra. Yeah, second Ezra 4, right? Yeah. That's also in that in that, uh, in that that same chapter. When it talks about, if you, if you he asked them, how can you, how can you measure a pound of, of fire? Yeah. What should have win? If you go on, it talks about what happened uh, when he went into the heavens. Like, to say the least, I don't have it all accurately, but if you read into that, it'll show you. But there ain't no angels and no demons tied up down in, that's that Greek mythology. They take, you know, they took Greek Saturn, and Saturn was chained up, that, chained up down in Tartarus. Up. Is Saturn is chained up down in Tartarus. The one in Egypt? One at, that's uh, Asmodeus. Mound is Egypt. I think we were probably talking about that one. So. I got a precept for you, you just read. Oh, yeah. Psalms 109. And, uh, uh, shit, where is it at? Six. It says, Set thou a wicked man over him, and let Satan stand at his right hand. Oh, that's, that's what these people, they got Satan on their right hand. Oh, look, Psalm of David. Oh, uh, no, Psalms, yeah. uh, oh, yeah, that's for your boy. Yeah. Where he go? <laughs> See, the, the, uh, we, you know, like, like the Lord said, we got power over these demons and devils, you know what I'm saying? The Lord. Oh, hey, that's another one. Oh, yeah. The Lord said yeah. He gave His power over the unclean spirits. Yeah, so they can't be fallen angels. How, how are they fallen if they obey us? Yeah. You not, see that? The difference between fallen angels and demons is definitely that's definitely different. Definitely. You got to iron that yeah. out. Explain it. I understand that difference. Okay, who's in charge of the demons? We the Most have, High. Yeah, of course. The Most High. I think you think I'm disagreeing. Well, I'm just saying. You mean, what, you mean like that, how that, I word it? That fall, that angels. fall, that fall angel thing, that bugs people out. That's it's not in the scriptures. It's easy to heat up. It sounds yeah. good. It, it sounds good, but it's, it's not accurate. So we we, we, we got we gotta give you what the scriptures say. That's our job. It's not according to truth. It's not according to the scriptures. It's like because the whole thing they get it from starting with Genesis six chapter. And when you get the real understanding of Genesis 6 chapter, nowhere in the book of Genesis does it say there was a war in heaven. It, 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 the angels got kicked out. That ain't nowhere in the Bible. That's a misinterpretation of Revelation 12 is where they get so that. What's the remedy for these motherfuckers coming up for these false philosophies? Revelation 22, taken away and add on to them. Yeah, that's not in there. They gotta get the hell up. I got the best question. I got the one you quoted earlier. I just, uh, Second, uh, Second Chronicles, uh, this is uh, 18 and 2017, it's my baddest scripture right here. No, I'm sorry, 18, 18, 18. Again, he said, therefore hear the word of Yahweh. I saw Yahweh sitting upon his throne, and all the hosts of heaven standing on his right hand and his left. Yahweh, you know, grab right hand, angels, left hand. Angels. Oh, you have the there left, you yeah, there it is right there, it's over heaven. He right. said, and Yahweh said, who shall entice Ahab, king of Israel, that he may go up and fall at Ramoth Gilead, I'm saying it right. And one back saying after this manner, and another saying after that manner. Then there came out of the spirit, and stood before you, how I said, I will entice him. And how I said unto him, wherewith? And he said, I will go out and be a lying spirit in the mouth of all his prophets. And how I said, Thou shalt entice him, and thou shalt also prevail. Go out and be even 
So that's crazy. I get that song. Uh, yeah, cause he he, come, he had one of them angels go be a lion spirit. That uh, Isaiah forty five and seven. Cause people always try to be like, oh, the Satan as what they call him, Azazel. They, yeah, yeah. I, I just watch. I just watch. Uh, I just watch Fallen. You told me to go. Uh, I just went and watched it. Me and my son watched it. It's not Satan. Azazel is not a demon. No, but everybody equates him with Satan. Though. I know. But, uh. <laughs> didn't, they call it, didn't they call something at one point Samael? That's actually, uh. The word is Azazel, actually, I did a lot of research on it. It actually is in the Old Testament, but it was called a scapegoat. But, uh. Wow. Go ahead. That's big. Scapegoat. Not everything accountable. No, the so word is, is. The word is Azazel means scapegoat in Hebrew. Go ahead. What you got? Isaiah 45 and 7. I form the light and create darkness. I make peace and create evil. I how would do all these things? So there be no need to have fallen angels. I mean, the Lord is going. He the one bringing the evil anyway. You know what I mean? Being here is not evidence of your of error. See you guys later. All right now. All right. You will have a testimony that angels don't know. All right, dear. I don't care what he says. He's gone. Woo. Don't think about it. Don't even dwell on that shit. <laughs> so what is you doing? They go, oh, they go, uh, Rihanna. He do like it. Yeah, that's, that's a that's the meth lab, Rihanna. <laughs> but I'm just glad he was doing. I I was so happy to prove him wrong because I knew he was gonna get mad and leave. Yeah, he was mad. Give me, give me. That's your boy. Oh man, they love that bullshit, Fallen Angels. That's your boy, Azazel, that's his new name. That's Azazel. <laughs> What's up, Azzy? What are you gonna call him? Azazel. <laughs> that's Azazel right there, bro. You just can't allow everybody to come around your congregation. Hey, you see we shut him down on that shit, though. You can only put up with so much of that shit. We let him slide on so much shit, man. I just didn't know how I was supposed to walk down. I'm sorry, we had to shut it down. You ain't come over here talking about fallen angels stuff. That's bugged out. Crazy. You know, Jew, I will therefore put you in remembrance that you must do this. Now that the Lord, having saved the people out of the land of Egypt, after destroyed them that believe not. And the angels, which kept not their first estate, but left their Oh, I see the angels that kept, that's where they gonna get fallen angels. But what? Where you at? That's a Jew, ain't it? Now watch, they gonna try to use this for fallen angels, but listen closely for the camera. Listen closely to the text. Go ahead. It says, and the angels, which kept not their first estate. They kept not their first estate. What's our first estate? Is Israel, the truth, the most high. Go ahead. Gods. But left their own habitation. But left their own habitation. Go ahead. He hath reserved in everlasting chains of under darkness unto the judgment of the great day. I'll keep going though. Keep going. Even as Sodom and Gomorrah and the cities about them, in like manner giving them. So so order. so they're gonna say, uh, yeah, they're gonna be chained up in Tartarus. I actually <laughs> think the Greek word there is Tartarus. But Tartarus in Greek mythology is like the depths of Hades, like the lowest. That's where Saturn is chained up. But they're using it as a metaphor. You know what I'm saying? But go, you got this is key because of what it said, Give even me. as Sodom and Gomorrah was destroyed, Sodom and Gomorrah was not in that mythological underworld. You know what I'm saying? This was all like parabolic talk. Sodom and Gomorrah got destroyed by fire. Go ahead. Even as Sodom and Gomorrah and the cities about them in like manner, giving themselves over to fornication. So it said that angels are going to be destroyed just like Sodom and Gomorrah got destroyed, right? This is talking about people. Go ahead. Right. And going after strange flesh. Going after straight. That's not going, you know, going after all that all these heathens, falling after the ways of the heathen. That's what it's talking about Israel. Go ahead. Or set forth for an example, suffering the vengeance of eternal fire. Is there more to that? Um, yeah, keep going. Likewise, also these filthy dreamers defile the flesh, despise dominion, and speak evil of dignity. So that's talk that was still going in talking about those angels. That's talking about Israel. They despise dignity. It, our people despise us, you know. Well, actually, we're, that's hard to believe, but we're dignities. They despise us. Go ahead. Yes, but that is what, go back to the part where it talks about uh, Egypt, the, the Exodus. I think it's before that, up at the top. 
it talks about the exodus somebody left their first estate i don't say something about that that's what i read in six and the angels which kept not their first estate but left their own habitation was above before six uh five i read five so that's what started I will therefore put you in remembrance, though you once knew this. Oh, I will put you in remembrance, though you once knew this. Now that the Lord have to save the people. This is it right here. Go ahead. Out of the land of Egypt. Now the Lord has saved the people out of land. That's talking about the Israelites. He saved Israel out of the land of Egypt. Go ahead. Afterwards, destroyed them that believed not. He destroyed them that believed not. Go ahead. And the angels which kept not their first estate. So this is talking about the Israelites. He just told you he saved Israel out of the land of Egypt. But then he goes on and he calls the Israelites angels. Go ahead. And the angels was kept not from the first estate, but left their own habitation. He have reserved in everlasting chains of darkness and under unto the judgment of the great day. Yeah, that was the point on that. So that was talking about Israel. It was clearly talking about the Exodus. And then it mentions the angels. People see that word angel, they get bucked out. You know what I mean? They should be because the Lord called uh, the prophets angels in the book of Ezra. We call our own children angels. We're like, oh, he's, he's sweet as an angel. Uh, was that Revelation 19? Oh, you know, they're actually little demons. Yeah, your brother. <laughs> huh? Oh, that's in Revelation 22, ain't it? Here you go. Second Ezra 2 and 4. For if the Most High spared not the angel that sinned, angels that sinned, Remember the scripture in Second Ezra that I read that they, the angels before he built this shit they didn't sin at all. Yeah. So who is he referring to? He's referring to us. But cast them down to hell. Hold on, I got. We ain't take my down to hell. So we, the, it, we cast to hell right now. This is fucking Hades out here, bro. This is Tartarus. We out here. This is the lowest depths of Tartarus out here. For the most high spirit, not the angels that sin. Look at all these little ass kids on scooters. Oh shit, that's crazy. That shit gotta be illegal. That's little crazy. bastards. These motherfuckers have no respect for law or nothing. They going the wrong way and everything on the they street. Going to, going to they gonna get uh, one of these coda buses gonna <laughs> splatter them. But cast them down to hell and deliver them into chains of darkness to be reserved unto judgment. Chains of darkness. These black down, wicked ass bodies. Yeah, it's changed the darkness. Living in this fucking, in this evil ass fucking world has changed the darkness. You feel like you cha and change it. You feel like you fucking chained up and you can't be free out of this motherfucker. These bodies is terrestrial. Earthly. Yeah, you feel like trash. Body falling apart and shit. I mean, I've been taking some magnesium. Y'all fuck with the magnesium? Maybe if y'all make your own. Real Help my joints out, bro. I'm getting old. I'll take for different reasons. I'll take it for like, keep my cool. So does I'm that help you? Calm and relax. Is that what it does? Yeah, man. It's fast. You got a little system. I just learned about that magnesium. Oh, it helps you stay cool. Go ahead. <laughs> That's what these people lack. They're going to try to neutralize their body. They're going to help break loose. These people are going to go mentally crazy, man. They said a good source of magnesium is dark chocolate. I've been eating a shit ton of dark chocolate lately. I hate that. Dude, they said it helps decalcify your pinot gland too. Good chocolate. Go ahead. Second Ezra 1 and uh, 39. And unto whom, unto whom I will give for leaders Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob. Oh, to give for leaders Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob. Go ahead. Messiah, Amos, and Micah, Israel, Adias. I can't pronounce that official. Well, yeah, they just, that's like the, that's all the major prophets, all the prophets. Jonas, Nahum, and Habakkuk, Surprises, Agnes, Zechariah, and Malachi, which is called also, wait for it, an angel of the Lord. Oh! Uh, well, where, where are you going to get? Where are you, what did it say? Uh, it says, all, it named all the prophets in the Old Testament, they called them angels. Yeah. So, also an angel of the Lord. Because what does the word angel mean? It means messenger. It means a look, messenger. Look, here they go again. Going around cars and everything. That ain't crazy. Look at that. They gonna get splattered. Like splat, splat, splat. Kids, where it's at. Look, look, look out, look out. Look, they crashing right here. I want to get the death on camera. They all about it. Where are your fucking... How did they get on them things? You gotta have a license to get one of those. Don't you? 
How do you get them? I thought you had to have a license to use for people that don't have credit cards and shit. Really? So I don't know how the fuck they doing it, man. I ain't never tried. I don't want on one of them motherfuckers. I hate them things. Everybody, I thought it was cool at first until you see these motherfuckers flying out of nowhere everywhere. You know, you can't get Jake nothing, bro. You get Jake anything, he's gonna fuck it up. This is Revelation 19 and 10. And I fell at his feet to worship him, and he said unto me, this is John talking to the angel, he says, See thou do it not, I am thy fellow servant, and of thy brethren, that have the testimony of the house shot. It's proving that, you know, eventually, like, you know, some of us, we die, you become angels. We are angels, as well as we lost that first fruit. You know what I'm saying? And, uh, like, they said, all oh, angels can't like you said, angel means messenger, agalos. When you, when you look at the word messenger up at, because it actually says messenger in the New Testament, the English word messenger. When you look that word messenger up, it says the same word for angel, which is agalos. Agalos, angel. And it, it repeats it again. I think it's the first chapter. It says he bow down and worship him. He said, did not bow. Uh, I'm going to serve that brother the Prophet. So, Revelation 22 and 9. Uh, 8. So, and I, John, saw these things and heard them. When I had heard it. And see, I fell down to worship before the feet of the angel, which showed me that these things, then said he unto me, See thou do it not. For I am thy fellow servant and of thy brother and the prophets. Of that brother and the prophets. Oh, it's cold. Yeah. 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 The angels are our fellow servants and of the brothers the prophets. Oh. Angel. What was that? I gotta memorize that one you brought out in the Apocrypha. What was that? Uh, I think it's one and four. Oh, that's in one? Oh, that's easy to remember. Well, it starts at 39. So you, you read the scripture, they don't hit you until... Bro, 2nd Ezra is one and what? 39. 39, boy. 2nd Ezra is one and 39. Ooh, that's a fire scripture.